In this video, I'm going to talk about why your money is worth a lot less now than it was a few years ago. A few weeks ago, the Bureau of Labor Statistics came out with basically a report on the consumer price index. And what it showed was staggering. A lot of experts out there thought that, you know, we could hit as high as 7% inflation. Well, great news. We hit 6.8. So two tenths of a percentage off. Because of that, everything as consumers that we utilize has gone up significantly. Rental cars itself have gone up 37.2%. You wanna buy furniture? That new couch is gonna cost you 12% more than it did last year. Transportation went up 21.3%. If you wanna stay at a hotel, it's gone up nearly 22%. And the price of gas, let's not talk about that, a staggering nearly 60% more in gas alone. All of this to tell us and we already know we're paying a lot more for things that we use on a daily basis. So the good news is that wages have gone up 0.3%. Bad news is that inflation has gone up 0.8%. So even if you've got a raise, it didn't catch up. There's a lot of reasons why this is occurring. Number one, we have a very tight labor market. People are more likely to stay at home or want to stay home or work from home. Unemployment. A lot of different businesses have gone down because of the pandemic. So you've got not only are the businesses that are around paying more for labor and that costs go over to the customer. So the customer ends up actually paying for the increase in labor alone. Then you've got supply chain issue, right? You've got docks full of stuff cargo ships and traffic just sitting there and not getting all of the goods off because of labor issues as well. Supply chain issues are causing less supply out there and then demand is still pretty high. Not to mention all of this stimulating that the government has been doing. So we've added somewhere around 13 trillion dollars into the marketplace. And because of various different government actions, that money just pumping into the economy. To put things into comparison, in today's dollars, World War II actually cost us less than $2 trillion. So all this inflation, what do you do? Consistently try to save your money as much as possible, cut out things that you don't need in your life, start to establish a budget at home. Now it's not gonna hedge all inflation, Putting your money into things that are going to get value over time is going to definitely help you hedge inflation. Real estate, stocks, bonds, stay away from volatile things, names I won't even mention, and continue to do it the old fashioned way. Now, you could say some of the comments out there are like, we're not, we don't have enough money to save. Then start to cut down on your living expenses as much as possible. I don't think inflation is gonna be going anywhere soon. And for more financial tips like this, go ahead and subscribe.